it wasn't uh, um, the people that would give them this stuff to read, interact with other people, do basically the job for the police. I should say the people that police hired, uh, they were not aware sometimes. Sometimes they were not aware. Sometimes people didn't want to do evil, uh, but and they were not aware that uh, it was, uh, let, let's say the scar here, I don't know if you can see it, right? It's just parked here a few meters away. This is too damn close, this stuff here, all right? <laughs> Uh, I even remember the cars, they would be parked like this, like, uh, I don't know if that house right there, what's that like, yeah, it's more than 20 meters, whatever, um, 30 meters. They got the job to do something dirty. They agree they would do it. See that car right there? It's turning right there. Down, he turned down. That's basically the distance you would have a police car that would be parked. Uh, you would have a group of people coming and they would do the torture, they would do harassment with people whom police hired, employed to do the torture. And if these people would not do the torture, uh, these people did not understood. They knew that it's all audio recorded, but did not know that there were sensors attached to me, which were used for the police officers who sit inside of the car. If it was not a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, who oftentimes would also appear, he would like to sit inside of those cars with the police and go back and forth with his car and leave and return and back and forth all the time checking about what went on how what how how this genocide is progressing they would literally sit inside of the cars with a readers on and would be logging absolutely everything every level of stress everything whatever was whatever sensors were attached to my body everything they logged absolutely everything down inside of those police cars they didn't only go and uh, and use these cars basically to ensure smooth crime transmission uh, transition but they would literally go and do the stuff like this as well the police was doing the stuff like this the psychiatrist i should say this this psychiatrist is basically hired assassin it's not a psychiatrist. I don't know how this is going to look like for a psychiatrist in general, but I am going to refer to this psychiatrist as a king psychiatrist. And I don't know how the fuck that's going to look for you if you have your psychiatric diploma. This case will come out. People will learn about this. And then I don't know anything about what you're going to look like as a psychiatrist because I will accent on my complaint and I am gonna put this back on the block all about complaints which I submitted to the foreign boards of psychiatrists International Association of Psychiatrists where I complain about this torture performed against me by Slovenian police and psychiatrists and I never mentioned anything about British I never mentioned anything about American or anything like this I tried to be as discreet as possible, but it didn't work. It did not work. It was enforced literally down my throat to have it done this way. It was enforced like this, literally by the London. They wanted this way. They stayed loyal to the people they employed in genocide against me. That's all I got to say. As for uh, Bluetooth uh, readers, health readers attached to my body, including to my ankles, when I would come from hiking and would step inside of the kitchen in front of the mother sometimes and they took off from my ankles, whatever they had attached to it, it made me feel like 
they have shackles around them. I feel like I, I'm a prisoner. Totally different feeling than uh, when meeting people on the street. When meeting people on the street, they did the, the same thing to my father. They made everything so exclusive. It's like, wow, you know, hello, and this and that. The reality was when I returned back home, the reality was when I noticed this individual here on many occasions going completely insane. His name is Boris Pop. This was the man that would directly engage in torture on the streets, getting people straight into my face. He would get people, uh, demand from people to abuse me, instructed people, then he would disappear from the scene and let the police, others handle the situations. He would be the man who eventually monitored police at times with a Milan cushion from the car. They would come from Ljubljana at times to check with the car to monitor everything about how it went on together with police. They would stay with the police. This is how it all started. This was the guy who started this, this kind of stuff. As for local psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, Peter Kapsch became, he would run home from the butcheries that were taking place on the sidewalks of the city of the Novo Mesto with the police, with the people involved. For a lunch, he would run home. As soon as he would be done with the lunch, he would, he would jump back in the car and pop up right back on the scene. And they were playing with his monitors, watching how much stress you can cause. Yep, the main plan, the grand plan was to kill me through the stress. Maybe more than through anything, their main plan was through the torture, through the stress, sleep deprivation. They were sure they're going to kill me. This was their main plan, their, their number one goal. There is much to add. This is a very simple thing for me to finish off this testimony. Um, King, uh, now King Charles had me on uh, several occasions, at least I would say, Prince Charles had me at least on about five occasions suffering cardiac arrest. As for the Slovenian police, that would probably go to about maybe 30 occasions. Suffering cardiac arrest guaranteed me guaranteed me this issue here which is known as arrhythmia. King Charles, Prince Charles, now King Charles, laugh in my face in Britain. And it was not to make me paranoid, afraid, or anything like this, because I had severe pain in my chest, all over the chest, about my, what he referred to with his physicians, having the state of arrhythmia developed. He was happy, he was vicious about it. He was looking forward to my being destroyed literally through the issues of arrhythmia. Arrhythmia was the last accomplishment of Prince, now King Charles, that I had to acknowledge as developed on my body, sometimes in, I should say like beginning 2015, as finalized, finished, and then he would, all the way to 2020, they would repeat this thing with me. The Slovenian police, I would not, Slovenian police was hired by the British royals. To do stuff like this, I would not even get into it. 
here is the article which popped up somehow through the Canadian. Um, this was listed on American Yahoo. Uh, this stuff was not listed on the British Yahoo website, UK, and uh, they have American uh, Yahoo. Uh, however, it's listed under the Canada. It says here, Yahoo Lifestyle Canada. Uh, I was severely brainwashed to, but that's exactly what it is. Why, why would you brainwash somebody in, in, a, in, a, in a, such a form as, why would you want to go after somebody and, and uh, brainwash one with, with, with such issues? I mean, when you screw him up like this, I mean, it's literally to drive one insane, obviously. According to police, just to finish what matters from the article, not only about the liver damage when it comes to blood thinners, uh, but it's about blood thinning, but it's about heart. Uh, it is associated, as they claim, to arrhythmia. heart populations, blood pressure to heart populations. To me, they talked about the arrhythmia. Heart population, this article was involved in MK Ultra, literally, word by word. It's just the way this stuff was done to me. Um, according to police investigators alone, uh, I did not, they were interrogating me on why do I think uh, arrhythmia did not pop up to me yet. Uh, this is something I cannot say that it did not because Slovenian physicians examined me. Uh, I don't pay no attention to this. Um, they explain to me that if you're doing a heavy duty exercise, sports, since young age, uh, push-ups and stuff like this, uh, to develop in one arrhythmia, to develop in one heart population is not an easy thing to do, despite the torture procedure that involved most severe sleep deprivation during MKL procedures. Uh, it was said because the body that is really strong has ability to reform itself back into original state and last longer. Because the people that are not resistant to, uh, to prolonged uh, issues as I described, uh, they do develop, they have a tendency to develop very quickly arrhythmia, heart populations, and so on, troubles, which I'm not excluding. Uh, there is a possibility that I have it. I'm not going to get into it because I didn't get any kind of health examinations. I don't consider the health examinations under this kind of circumstances the health examinations. I don't consider them as a valid. Uh, there was lying, there was cheating. There was omission of real results. I don't take them as legitimate. It's important to accent. And never in my life I have taken any kind of turmeric. For the first time in my life, I started to take turmeric was in 2022, I think, when I started to take turmeric. So you're going to take a note. Number one, I never took this kind of stuff in my lifetime. As for the garlic, the first time I started to use garlic in my life was in 2021. 
take this shit whichever way you want. Uh, police was the one that was abusing, that was using turmeric. They were using garlic during MK Ultra torture, during MK Ultra butcheries. They were forcing me this shit down my throat, doing all kinds of stuff on me, including using a calcium pills, I should say supplements, for which, by the way, if I have to remind police, Iranian police, my mother, people involved in it, my best friend, previously my best friend, police officer, Simon Bartel was the one who figured out that I also need, regardless of multivitamins, which were due to amount of multivitamins forced down my throat, uh, became damaging for my liver, damaging for my kidneys. They realized uh, I just started to take them first time now, this calcium pills, supplements, I should say. Uh, that they are a necessary part of my diet. Uh, started to take them a week ago. This is the way it is. Uh, they told me take magnesium, and which I started to take now. Never took either calcium or uh, magnesium in my lifetime. I bought something little, uh, did use that occasionally, altogether maybe that would summarize to about maybe 50, 50 pills, 60 pills maybe for my entire lifetime of magnesium. Uh, never was taking any calcium. Uh, and so that probably explains that um, I had no idea, despite everything that went on, just what assistance, what help this stuff was to me. This is, this was a real sadism, a real butchery, and I took absolutely none of it with me. Instead, it was others, including my mom, that learned about what's healthy and what's not healthy. Basically, the people who did damage to me were the people that profited. The entire British pharmaceutical sector and American pharmaceutical sectors based their um, human experimentations on me. They conducted, they engaged in the butcheries on me. This was a big case because it was the case for which was known like from a crypt to a crypt, basically. From the birth to death, basically. You're just being like a fucking chicken used to experiment on. Literally for experimentation, human experimentation purposes. Perfect, because you don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't, yeah, you get it? Entire British pharmaceutical sector profited. Butchered, engaged in experimentation, and profited from within. I doubt there is a single British company that was not involved, pharmaceutical company, that was not involved straight in this butchery. And it goes the same to Americans. Everyone tested all kinds of products on me. It's called the cookies plasma. Uh, plasma. I did not understood what, I don't even understand now what this is about, but cops claimed this is bad for you, bad cookies for you, uh, but the plasma, obviously, I don't know, plasma is going to be probably something to do with the blood, uh, blood transfusion or something like that is basically what's waiting on me, <clears throat> something new. Yeah, this is the this is the gifts that come. That's how we communicate with whatever they were doing to me during MK Ultra. That's how it works. It's nice. 